So, here I am at North East Tassie. There's Mount Horror in the distance where I work in the fire tower over there. And there's a bit of lightning for you. We've got a storm coming in. Jess, over here, quick, quickly, come here. Come here, quick, over here, over here. Weird's that, someone's left some gloves right here on the side of the road. It's a bit dodgy. And what they've been used for. Some sort of dodgy activity. But anyway, we're out here and we're filming with the good folks from Alchemy Films. We've got Holly and Jonathan and Gorav are back down. They were last here nearly two years ago. They're probably listening to me now because I'm recording on their little voice mic thing and I'm filming them instead of them filming me. But anyway, we're finishing off this documentary that we started two years ago and getting some shots in and we're lucky enough to have this storm rolling in as we do it. Right on! Howdy, just a bit of a quick update from me, uh, just at the end of round 12 now and getting everything out there, oh, actually round 13, sorry, uh, getting everything back out there for round 14 soon as you can see, got quite a few cameras here, some in a state of disrepair, uh, just old plastic getting brittle in the cold out here in Tassie and uh, starting to break, so a bit of super glue this round, um, just a keep some of these backing frames together on the back of these cameras. All in all though, pretty successful. Over 75,000 shots this round. Um, so quite a bit for me to go through there, but uh, only one sort of weird looking four-legged animal in the distance in a couple of shots and then a tail with stripes on it. Um, but that was it this round, nothing uh, too out of the ordinary. Anyway, we soldier on. Um, and uh, we'll get these cameras back out in the next couple of days and settle into hopefully another highly interesting round of trail camera shots coming in in the next few months. Sit tight and we'll see what happens. You won't like this, you'll feel all this. Yeah, I've got her on the camera, all right. Oh, a fish just started past then. Yeah. Oh, she's just moved her left claw. Yeah, I saw it. She's watching me. A fish started through really quick yeah, then. Yeah, I disturbed the fish as well. Yep. Went over under the blackberries there. I'll see if I can... Love so them. what, she, she's about a kilo and a half? Oh, they're always bigger than the water, yeah. But it should be about... 10, 12 inches long. Yeah, she's a breeder, but yeah. um, she's not very big. Right. Yeah, they get a lot bigger. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah she's... She's so-so. And she's very stubborn. Yeah, that meat's sitting on her bloody claw just about. Yeah. She didn't even flinch. She might be so off, she just can't... Here we have a black yellow tail cock too, keeping watch, watching us, just quietly sitting there while the others are feeding in the waddles. This one's playing scout, I think. Give you an idea where we are. We're in the riverbed. I'm about a little zoom for a cheap camera. 
The others are feeding in here somewhere. I keep hearing them every now and then ripping into the trees trying to get wattle grubs out. And I've got phone service. And Jess. Hi Jess. Found a few interesting prints. Some few devil prints along here. Wombat prints. I found some other prints. These are uh, Jess's prints here. Just to keep it interesting and keep me confused. Water's only quite shallow. This river used to be quite deep, but sadly, all this gravel is the topsoil from the area for hundred odd years of uh, tin mining. I used to do hydraulic mining with water and blast all the topsoil away. And down the road at Gladstone, it's the same depth. It's like three or four feet deep and just a big wide bed full of gravel. Well, it used to be about 60 feet deep. They used to bring ships up there, believe it or not. Um, many moons ago but anyway that's mining damage for you so now the river's about four feet deep on average it's a little bit deeper in some spots where it's washed away a bit further upstream there's some couple of nice decent pools that probably have fish as well and there is fish in here but you're hard pressed catching them she's pretty shallow and pretty fast in most places so they're pretty flighty you'd want to be pretty good probably better off with the net but yeah He's still there watching us. That bird. Beautiful bird. They are just stunning. He's clearly the scout, this one. One of the others are feeding in there somewhere. He's keeping an eye out. What we go here is a white breasted sea eagle. Pretty close. Beautiful. Absolutely stunning. Folks, coming to you live from the fire tower in Mount Horror, northeast Tasmania. We've got a bushfire happening out near the coast between uh, Waterhouse and Tomahawk. You might be able to see it. I'll zoom up. Uh, go over there. You can see the smoke there. It's starting to head towards Tomahawk. There's been an emergency evacuation alert for the surrounding districts. And... Um, They've got two helicopters on it at the moment that I can see, so hopefully um, they get it under control pretty quick. But I'll um, do another post in a few moments and see where we're at. But I'll, yeah, I'll zoom up and see what you can see. Right 
Okay, down we go. Keep going. Keep going. Down you go. Quick. Good girl. Well, that's another day at the office complete with a view to the heavens and above of the entire northeast corner of Tasmania right out to the northeastern tip out there Muscle Road Bay or Cape Portland Mount Barrow just stunning absolutely stunning best job ever Is that the one that was trying to eat my dog today? Highly possible, it's pretty big, it just flew up there as I was driving along. So I just pulled over to film it. Beautiful thing. Probably remembers my car and Jess. No doubt, I remember Jess. We'll just have this moment while we can. Beautiful bird. He's watching you, Jess. More than happy to have you for breakfast, lunch, or tea. Like he didn't get his talons into you today. Or you might not have come off very well. Respect. Absolute respect. Looky, looky, looky. What have we here? Juvenile thylacine prints. That's about two inches across. And about two and a half inches high. There's 
Jess's print. So here's a fresh roadkill from last night that looks like it's been munched on by either a very very hungry thirsty quoll and a rather large quoll or a juvenile thylacine. I've seen many examples, this one still hasn't even gone fully uh, and look something's had a go at the old kidneys in there too um, I've seen many examples of the face chewed off of things that look like they've been attacked by thylers on the mainland with ruse and um, may has come in for a look with ruse and sheep especially their face chewed off and their head ripped open neck whole bit so this is either a really big quoll or a young male thylacine I reckon. I reckon there's a young male thylacine up there because this spot where I found this was also the spot where I found the um, paddy melon with its testicles removed and then before that I found a possum that had been um, very thylacine kind of preyed on as well. But it could be a large quoll but it's definitely not a devil because it's not torn to bits so this is real specific. It was an eagles because this has happened last night and it's nice and early when I've come through they haven't even been there yet it's way too early for them guys. No, this is, this is different. And there was no blood anywhere, so it was either one of the two because I just drank all the blood. But anyway, I'm going to put this in front of our 24-7 wildlife camera and uh, see what comes along for another munch. <laughs>